Okay, so I'm going to put a tapered pin in here, and I just wanted to take a second to show about how to use these and what they're good for. Now, this is a tapered pin, and the nice thing about it is, is when you drive it in there, it's in there tight. You have to drive it out. So it'll make a good connection here. And this is a tapered reamer, so it's like a regular reamer, only it's tapered, and it fits the taper of this. I believe it's a quarter inch per uh, foot is what the taper is on it. And so you, you drill a hole that get your pin and figure out what that minor diameter is right there drill a hole all the way through that's that minor diameter and then you just start working your reamer down in there And a little cutting fluid would be good on this. I just painted this, so I don't really want to get cutting fluid on it. Okay, I think that's going to do it. Yeah. Now normally... You would want a little bit of the pin sticking out the bottom, but this is so long, I'm, I'm happy with um, the way that is. You want a little bit sticking out the bottom so you can hit it and knock it up, up out of there. But I'm thinking, this this thing actually knocks back and forth like this, so I'm thinking I may have wind up having to knock that down a little bit more. And I don't have a whole lot of pin left, and I don't want to bottom out, because if I do, I won't be able to drive it tight. But if I want to get it loose, I do have a through hole, and I can knock it back that way. Anyway, I hope that was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.